Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to start creating kids' birthday invitations for your Etsy shop. Niching down to a birthday-only shop is a great idea because it lets you dive deep into different designs and age groups. Let's get started. But before we jump in, don't forget to subscribe for more digital product ideas. I looked at a few invitations and this one is a bestseller and it's trending because it's in 20 plus carts. I'll show you how to create something similar, but not copy it. You could also try a transport theme with different cars, trucks, and buses, or even just airplanes. Since it's a one-page design, you can easily create multiple variations to give your shop more options. Now open Canva and click Create a Design, then choose Custom Size. Change the dimensions to inches and insert 5 fix body 7. Canva will show you the margins. Your background or pictures can go over the lines, but the text should stay inside the safe zone. Since we're creating something similar to the transport and racing car theme, let's look for a racing car or vintage car from the Elements tab. I had to search for a while, but I'll choose this one. Next, search for a street or a road and drag it onto your design. Then click on it and go to layers and move it behind the cars. Now, let's search for other race-related elements like checkered flags and signs. You can even add checkered graphics as a border. The designs I checked out all had a simple layout with a clear background. So I'm going to follow that style and see if there's anything I might add later to fill the page. However, you can add extra elements to your liking or even use a watercolor background. For the text, I'll write something similar to the trending invitation we saw like this. Along with just a name, since the customer will edit this anyway, then add a text box for the party details. Now change the font style to something fun and adjust the color to match the design. Rearrange everything so it's inside the safe zone and add your final touches. Next, click on File and make a copy of the design. Doing it this way so you'll still have your original design. Next, rename the document at the top. Before saving, let's duplicate this page and delete the name and party details text boxes. Save this version as a PNG. Then add a new page and import the PNG you just saved. 
set it as the background, and now just copy and paste the details you removed earlier. Doing it this way makes it easier for the buyer to edit. So nothing moves around and they only need to add their information, like the name and party details. This will be your final design. Go ahead and delete the other pages. Before saving, open a Google Doc and enter your shop name and product details. You can customize this page however you like. Now go back to your project, click Share, then See All, and select Template Link. Copy the link and paste it into your document. Here's something extra for you. Click File and make a copy of it so you don't lose your final design. Open the copy and click Resize in the top left corner. Choose Instagram Reel or Instagram Story. Canva will convert the design for you. Then save this as a template link as well. Now, go back to your Google Doc and paste the template link with details. You can add the link as is, or you can create a clickable hyperlink. Let me show you. Highlight your text and right-click, then scroll down to Insert Link. Paste your template link here and apply. The text will now be blue and underlined. Finally, change the document name and save this as a PDF. This is what the customer will receive when they purchase from you. Now, just upload it with your listing pictures and descriptions, and you're ready to go. And that's it. Now you have a ready to sell kids birthday invitation for Etsy. If you found this tutorial helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more digital product ideas. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.